going 45 miles an hour or less because the wind is so strong I can't even get up to speed and it's hot so the bus is getting pretty hot and we're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> so it's perfect. I'm, perfect I'm not sure what we're gonna do <laughs> we'll let you know what happens stay tuned you guys we had a headwind that was insane. It was like 40 miles an hour, I don't know. But we were towing the car, and we came from Carlsbad Caverns, and we we're headed into the foothills to go over this mountain pass. And we're in the library right now recording this because we don't have Wi-Fi at our campsite, so that's why Adam's whispering. I know we don't need to whisper, but this is road life. <laughs> There is absolutely no bars at our campsite right now. No. And we really want to get a vlog up for you guys. The library life. Welcome to Adam and Joni Adventures, another episode yes. in road life. Yeah. Well, we ended up stopping. <laughs> the engine's hot. <laughs> you Getting can a little smell toasty. It. Thank you, New Mexico. <laughs> Gotta love them hills. And the wind, like 40 mile an hour wind. Look at his hair in the wind. Those 40 mile an hour headwinds are exactly what you want when you're climbing over the Rockies. <laughs> They're tiny Rockies, but they're still Rockies. Rolling with the Reynolds behind us still. That's right. Thank goodness. Here's our engine. It's very accessible with this front engine bus. Woohoo! And we'll let you know what happens. That will ripen banana. You don't want a rotten banana? That banana is perfectly ripe. Uh huh. Yep. Ready for breads. Here we are. Oh. It's windy. Very windy. <laughs> So, so, we pulled over on the side of the road because the engine was getting too hot. Because we were pulling the car I was plus the headwind. I was scared. Like, it was smelling. You remember when you drove? You guys, you're with me. Those of you who had to drive in a school bus, I went to a little tiny private school with only three people that I graduated with. Yeah, it was crazy. But, mm -hmm. you remember that smell? There was that very specific smell in the bus when it was getting too hot, that antifreeze smell. And we didn't have any coolant. I was like, Adam, where's our coolant? He was like, huh? What do you know about coolant? I know a lot about coolant. I'm a farm girl. Farm girl. <laughs> we didn't have any coolant, but we had some water. And this was not good. We were just like, uh, we should probably not moving. So I looked at Adam and I was like, okay, we're gonna unhook the car. I'm yeah. gonna drive the car. We have our friends in back of us, Adam in front of us, I get to drive the car through the mountains. Yeah, so we pulled over for like an hour. Joni made some fantastic cookies. I didn't make them, but Sprouts <laughs> did. And they're gluten free we and they were really them. good. We baked them. <laughs> and they were good. It was the perfect pit stop. Then we started booking it towards the mountains, going over the foothills. And I really wish we would have gone during the day, but it was amazing even though we we're going through at sunset and in the dark i was happy it was during the dark time because <laughs> i don't know if i would have done that looking out at the mountain passes my first time you guys i am 37 years old i have not been through mountain passes i haven't got to drive through mountain passes so it's somewhat invigorating also a little like i'm glad it's a little dark so i can't see re see everything then it got sleety up there in the mountains and there was snow and it said bison and something else burgers I was elk like, and bison <laughs> i want to stop here it was amazing and then it felt like heidi like whoa, like these little foothills on heidi there are some gorgeous meadows so beautiful oh. i just wanted to stay there 12 minutes or less when in doubt have a bag of these when you're pulled over on the side of the road with an overheated engine oh new mexico we really are making cookies right now while we wait <laughs> <laughs>
precious. Good night. Good night. I want it. Hey, what do you see outside? I see, um, I see a real mountain. A what? A real mountain. A real mountain. Let's see. <clears throat> So we settled right into this beautiful campsite and of course we had to have our cup of coffee in the morning. We wake up every morning and I use my French press, which is a travel French press. I love it. Adam has caffeinated coffee. I have decaf. And we begin each morning this way. We take our grass-fed butter, which is high in omega fatty acids, vitamin A and K and D and E and all the good antioxidants. And then we put a superfood creamer, which I'll put in the links below. And we put it in the blender and blend it. And that gives us this amazing grass-fed, bulletproof coffee. You guys, it helps with metabolism. It helps with fat burning because healthy fats burn fat. You guys gotta try this. You can use brain octane oil, coconut oil, basically whatever you want, but it gives you this amazing boost of energy. We start every morning just like this. Another score on the campsite. Joni is like the best at finding campsites. We were like, we'll just do the boondocking thing, no power electric for 10 bucks. Then we find out it's only $14 for water and electric. $14. Water and electric got turned on the next morning. Yeah. We moved to this perfect spot. We were in Alamogordo. Uh, we wanted to go there to go to these white yeah. sands, you guys, which you will see are from the caverns to these white sands. Mm -hmm. Get on the road, get your life on the road. I mean, if you've been thinking about it, the experiences and the things that you will see have been like nothing I've ever experienced in my entire life. <laughs> this whole valley was amazing. It's surrounded by mountains. And I didn't even know the White Sands National Monument existed until Loved we got it. there. It was awesome. Loved it. He's all done with his rocks? Yeah. <laughs> he wants more rocks to eat. in our tire or something scraping so everything's got to come out of the car now we've got to take the wheel off so it wasn't a rock at all our brake pad was shot i went through the whole mountain passes without a brake pad but we got it fixed and we're on our way <laughs>
perfect. You guys are awesome. Why are we all so <laughs> Okay, don't move. There you go. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln's head. You got it, babe. Oh. Joni and Adam, it's like my Instagram life. Ooh.